Adversity comes to challenge our faith, and it mostly comes in a spirit of fear. Fear to sickness. Some people to the point where they won't leave their house and they don't want to be around people. There's the fear about their money, or there's the fear about what's going on in this world. Gas prices, the shortages of food, even irrational behaviors. You could probably name a lot more. But Second Timothy chapter 1 and verse 7, Paul wrote, and I quote the Passion Translation, For God will never give you a spirit of fear, but the Holy Spirit who gives you mighty power, love, and self-control. Because we have the greater one, the same spirit that raised Christ from the dead dwelling in us, we already have been empowered to be bold in resisting the spirit of fear. He gave us love, God's love, that agape love, that love that cast out fear. It throws it out. And we have to realize that nothing can separate us from the love of God. This love, this love is so persistent that in any circumstance, it's not going to go away just because we face a difficulty. He gave us self-control, and this self-control is where you and I can say no to fear. I want to encourage you today I want to encourage you that no matter what type of fear is trying to come against you in any circumstance, any situation, push it back. Don't allow those fearful thoughts to mull around in your mind and think about them. I want you to begin to speak God's word over your situation. You see, faith speaks because that's how we release our faith is through our words. Faith has the final answer. Amen. So answer adversity aloud with faith. Amen. God's word. That word is voice activated. So speak it out loud. After all, Mark eleven twenty three says, When you say to the mountain, be removed and be cast into the sea, and you don't doubt in your heart, but you believe the thing that you say, then you're going to have what you say. Amen. Praise the Lord. Strong faith requires strong commitment. And commitment, well, it hangs on no matter what. So don't be moved by what you see or what you hear. This has been a Pathway to Victory moment.